welcome to Christina Loves Crafting. My name is Christina. Today's special episode is dedicated to everyone as we all continue to do our best in managing this coronavirus pandemic. Whether it be a bandana, a mask, or other facial covering, we are all constantly looking for something to make us feel a little bit more secure. So today, we're going to be making a flippable face shield and a non-flippable face shield. This face shield is clear, light, and can offer you an extra layer of protection. All right, let's begin. So for our materials, we're going to need a polypropylene hanger strap, three fourths inches by 100 feet, a cable tie gun, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher or something sharp, some rubber bands, a clear PVC binding covers, which should be letter sized, some clips, and some zip ties, which are four inches. So we're going to start by cutting two straps, each with 22 holes in them in total. And we're going to take our scissors and just round out the edges so you do not harm the ear areas when you put them on. So now we're going to line up the edges and for the inner ones, we're just going to move it down three holes and where the fourth hole and the fifth hole are, we're going to start by poking it from the outside and round about out back to the inside and tighten it and do the exact same thing on the left side. Just skip three holes and penetrate it, it through the fourth and the fifth. We just take our zip tie cutter or you can use scissors, both would work just as well. Now I have a rounded rubber band here and I am just going to cut it in half because that is the length we need. Each half should be around 6.5 inches long and we are just going to poke it through from the inside so the knot will be on the outside. You can poke it all in with a sharp tool if necessary. And you just tie a knot. Okay, cool. So now we are just going to take our clear binder sheet, make sure it's placed horizontally, and skip two holes, then start aligning the sheet with the band. You could just clip it to stay in place, and on the other end, it should also skip two holes, and you can use a clip to secure it. Now at the last hole where the binder overlaps, binder sheet overlaps, you can just poke a hole and do the same for both sides. Now here you're just going to take a zip tie and make sure you insert it from the inside. You connect the first hole that is covered by the binder sheet and the one that is not and just push it through and tighten it as much as possible. Do the same for the other side. Now you can take off the clips. And counting from the last one you penetrated in, you are going to skip three holes and then poke two holes. And then you are going to skip another two holes in the middle and poke two holes after that. You should be left with three holes on the other side. They should line up perfectly. Now with the holes you poked, you're going to start with the inside and just connect the two holes just as you did previously. Okay, so now you can just take your zip tie cutter and cut off the excess of the zip ties. You can also use scissors for these as well. So all that's left for us to do is to make sure that the corners of the binder shape are rounded. And we do this by cutting it with scissors, making sure they're as even as possible. And now we have completed our own face shield. If you want to make a flippable face shield instead of tying the zip tie between the fourth and the fifth holes, you would tie it between the third and the fourth holes and do the same on the other side as well. Now the second step is that on the inner strand, you need to tie another zip tie between the fourth and the fifth hole on the inner strand. Now you have to make sure that the knob is on the outside to keep the second strand from moving. We want to give a shout out to some of the organizations to which we have donated masks and face shields and continue to tirelessly service those in need in our communities. These organizations include 
the OC Deaf Equal Access Foundation, First to Serve, Share Our Meal, Positive Behavior Steps, the Salvation Army, and the Care Mission. Thanks for joining me on Christina Loves Crafting. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. See you next time. Bye!